The two parties further agreed that the temporary employees should also be compensated on the same rate as those who were on permanent contracts. Nan Law is still in negotiations with government to have lenience for taxi charges on the retrenched workers' packages, an effort that is aimed at enabling them to excel an extra mile in order to sustain their families. So what we then did was to stretch the, the, the notice period from 15 September as it was, ne? 15 September to uh, 15 October, we stretched it a bit to from the 15th of September right through to the 15th of, um, of November, uh, just to give workers an additional month of pay. But also the effect of that, as you would know, is that it would now lead to a day or so increase in the pension, ne? I mean the, the, the leave, accrued leave days. So to that end, workers would then benefit directly from being on the payroll until then, but also from uh, <coughs> the payout once leave days and those are being calculated. However, workers at Weatherless Newt should the mine in the northern part of the country are not affected as the mine is believed to be performing well. Karonda pleaded for government to intervene in unfortunate situations like this through establishing measures that can help protect workers in unstable industries. They say government can loosen up the taxi amounts to main companies when the crisis strikes to save employment and avoiding a high unemployment rate. The union says it will assist in paying part of the salaries of the affected workers should government intervene until such time the company gets back on its feet.